I don't care. He has a way bigger fan base, a way louder fan base. They have sent me hate. They continue to send me hate. They continue to harass my sister. My sister's not even on social media anymore. She's not on TikTok. She's not anywhere. Because she made a stupid TikTok, deleted it right away, but now it lives on forever on the H3 podcast channel and the highlights under the title, like Trisha's sister, whatever. She took it down. She had remorse. She was sorry. And you're still blasting that. Like, the fans are so nasty and so brutal. They run my sister off social media. It's it's the worst. It's the most negative, toxic fan base. And it flipped in the matter of 24 hours. And now the tweet again. This makes me sad. You haven't even seen the podcast. You don't even know what I said. Like, it's not even out. This isn't a personal attack. I'm my own person. And now I'm getting so much hate again. It's just, that to me is toxic, bullying, harassment, taking use of your fan base. Like, you want me out of your life. Like, stop talking about me. Stop putting me as a thumbnail, the title, the clickbait. Don't say, oh, I'm dragging this on and talking about when you're doing it too. It's, I'm so frustrated and it's just so annoying. I kind of don't even care anymore. I'm just logging off. I just don't care. I'm logging off for the day. I don't care. There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Girl. She's already the hair hurt. Hey, what is up all my social climate friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. Now I just want to say off gate. Yes, I know this is not a normal setup. As you guys know, everything that's going on in my life lately, it has been hectic. I'm in a room that has literally nothing in here. So the sound quality is probably going to be shit as well. My life has been uprooted. I came back to Florida and since then, everything has been very difficult. You guys know why if you follow Nick. Everything that has happened with that has been just so difficult to deal with. Um, so I have to keep working. I have to come on here and talk and do things like that. I'm contractually obligated to do things like this. I wish that I didn't have to work right now, but I do and it sucks. But I want to come on here and I want to talk about Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein. Yet again, I cannot believe that this is still continuing months later after the breakdown of these two, but somehow here we are. But before I jump into this, I would like to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. As you guys know, Adam and Eve has been exceptionally well to me as well as you guys and right now if you use code Dustin over on adamandeve.com you'll get 50% off one item as well as free shipping to the US and Canada. Keep in mind some exclusions do apply. Please do remember when you shop Adam and Eve you get 24-7 customer support, 90 day hassle free returns and 20% of their profit goes to fight the spread of HIV and AIDS. We love that. Also if you guys are so inclined please feel free to reach out and let me know the things that you guys buy with this code. It's so interesting to see some of the things you get because I end up buying them myself. Now with all that said let's just jump into this video. So <laughs> As you guys know, this whole thing with Trisha and Ethan, I thought would have probably stopped by now, but it's just continuing. Last I remember, because I have been checked out of the situation just a little bit, uh, Trisha and Ethan were going back and forth on Twitter, and that was a couple weeks ago, but apparently now, Trisha has put out this tweet thread about Ethan and some things that he has done. I'm not even really too aware of what Ethan has done, but we're going to jump into it because I have the receipts here. Thank you, T-Spill. So Trisha tweeted out and said, Ethan hasn't changed. He's better at hiding deep-rooted hatred for women. He says he's done talking about me, but had to upload a clip of him and the crew of six guys to tell me, shut up, bitch, for no reason yesterday. And apparently there was a clip that Ethan uploaded that said, the unaired Trisha Paytas clip, and it was him and Trisha was blurred out. Trisha then went on to say, I just want Ethan to stop talking about me. Every time he does, an army of hate comes towards me and Moses. Things we've been at fault for, we discuss. Now there's just lies, doxing, really vicious things going on. I'm done talking about all the drama. I wish he would do the same. That's where we left off with Trisha last that I heard. Trisha said on TikTok that they were not going to be going back and forth with Ethan, that they were going to get off social media for a while, and that they were literally not going to entertain anything that Ethan said from that point on. But here we are again. Trisha is entertaining this. <laughs> and why, I don't know. You would think that that would be the end of the tweet thread, but with it being Trisha Paytas, of course it's not. Trisha then said, I've surrendered, I can't take this hate. It really weighs on us. Like I turn off comments, but now it's like leaking to people that are private in real life. It's scary, just stop. One way to stop this would be to stop responding. Like, there's only one way to end an argument. It cannot just be one person. It can't be all Ethan and it can't be all Trisha. This has to be like a mutual thing. Like, <laughs> they continue to go back and forth like school children. And at this point in time, that's what this feels like. This feels like high school petty bullshit drama that they're doing, in, in my opinion, for it to be going this long. They know that it gets them clicks. They know that it gets them views. They know that it gets them engagement. So, 
in my head, this is what I'm theorizing, is that they know that people are going to click on this stuff and they know that it's going to get attention, so why not do it? It just looks bad on both of them, you know what I mean? Showing that old clip of me where Zach plays a clip, shut up bitch, just incited a whole new hate mob at me today. Like, please, I'm begging for people to leave us alone. We left the H3 world, just please leave us alone. Trisha then quote tweeted someone that said, H3 fans are a cult, sadly. The more they talk about you, the more they think it's okay to attack you and Moses. And Trisha quote tweeted this and said, I know, just mentioning us gets them riled up, but the highlights was just too much. It's just all too much. It will never end. But here's the thing. When Ethan wasn't even really responding to Trisha, Trisha still kept poking at Ethan. Trisha still kept going at Ethan, trying to get slight little digs in. And a couple weeks ago, Trisha brought the whole thing up with Callie, where Callie went on to TikTok to defend Trisha and all of that. In my opinion, if Trisha would have stopped then, maybe this would be over now. This is just continually getting worse between these two. I see no rectification between either of them. I don't really think that this is a situation that can be salvaged, so why are they going back and forth? Both of these people, and literally everyone involved, is over the age of 30, so they know how arguments work. And this is all becoming so redundant now that it's ridiculous. Like, I'm tired of it. I'm pretty sure the other people in the drama community are tired of it. It's just like one thing after another. They never stop. Why can't Ethan stop addressing Trisha? And why can't Trisha stop even addressing Ethan? Trisha has this wedding coming up. Trisha has been working on this wedding for quite some time time and I understand that it's hard not to reply to people when they say things to you but at the end of the day if this just keeps going it's just gonna be like a Jenga thing until all of this shit falls and they both end up looking like they have egg on their face and in my opinion they both already do they look like two scorned children that didn't get their way so here they are acting a fool online it's just at this point, like, there are bigger things going on in the world, and I understand that I'm in my own little bubble right now with everything that's happening with me and Nick and his family and everything, but to continually go on like this, I'm just really truly shocked that this is still going on and we're at like, what, two and a half months, three months? I don't know, but you guys, please let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of this down below. I really just want to thank all of you that have left comments, tweets, DMs. I literally can never get through the amount of DMs that I have received on Instagram and Twitter from all of you guys just being supportive. It truly means a lot because this that we're going through now is like one of the most difficult things that I have ever been through. And this is not even my parent. This was going to be my mother-in-law. The hole that has been left by her leaving this world from COVID has just been very hard to watch but you guys i hope you all have an amazing day i plan on making a video about tana mojo tomorrow because tana had all the audacity in the world she had all the time and keemstar was all gas and no breaks when tana was on mom's basement but you guys i hope you all have an amazing day and i will see you all in my next video bye guys